Ready? Eighth United States Army Korea, citation, Bronze Star Medal. Captain Harriet E. Winkler, Army Nurse Corps, United States Army. Captain Winkler, a member of the Mobile Army Surgical Hospital, 8063 Army Unit, is cited for meritorious service in connection with military operations against an armed enemy in Korea during the period 7 November 1951 to 28 April 1952. Serving as Chief Nurse of the 3rd Neurosurgical Detachment Provisional, Captain Winkler, through her superb technical ability and untiring devotion to duty, created and standardized a system of neurosurgical nursing which proved of inestimable value in the treatment of brain and spinal cord injuries in the field. The numerous critically wounded United Nations casualties entrusted to her competent care were assured of her personal attention at all times, and many of them, who might otherwise have been permanently handicapped, owe their well-being to her infinite skill. Her tireless effort, her comprehensive knowledge of her profession, and her compassionate regard for the welfare of her patients earned her the deep respect and admiration of all those with whom she worked and contributed immeasurably to the success achieved by her hospital in accomplishing its life-saving mission. The meritorious service rendered by Captain Winkler throughout this period materially furthered the cause of the United Nations in Korea and reflects great credit on herself and the military service. <coughs> One other remark here, too, while I'm here. Yeah. General Turner. It is a typically armed forces ceremony and characteristic of the effort of these troops in Korea. Captain Winkler, in addition to the magnificent citation so richly deserved, I would like to add my personal tribute to you individually and to all the women of the armed forces whose contribution to our combined effort is of incalculable importance. It is a particular honor to me today to be able to participate in this ceremony in your honor and the honor of the women of our armed forces in the presence of General Clark, who, to whom I shall shortly turn over command in the Far East, of Admiral Joy, and of General Turner of our Air Force. Their presence here is characteristic of the combined effort of these magnificent troops of ours in the Korean campaign.